The, everything about the Congress uh, is beginning to look like a, a surreal circus because on one day the Rahul Gandhi will attack Shakti in Mumbai without knowing what that means. For, for anybody in the Congress today who is a sitting MP for 15 years, to think that he should not be the centre of attention of the voters, his performance should be not the centre of attention of the voters, he is living in some la-la land. He is the sitting MP. This is an election to elect the next MP. And he wants the voters to think about uh, something else. I don't understand his logic. Uh, I mean, if he is hoping and praying that people will not focus on his track record of the last 15 years and what he has not done, what he promised and did not deliver, he is living in, like I said, I'm sorry to say, but La La Land, number one. Number two, this newly found strategy by the Congress to criticize their own Indy Alliance partner, CPM, CPI. What that game is, I don't know, excepting to say, these are the two parties who have more commonality than any other two parties in India. They both have MOUs with China. They both have coffees and samosas sitting in the Indy Alliance. They both want Narendra Modi to be toppled. And they both, today, are in an alliance to keep Kerala and Tivandaram behind. Now, uh, I can only surmise what I said yesterday, that this newly found way to either imply that the CPI, CPM is close to BJP, is taking a leaf out of what they did in Telangana to get the minority, not even minority, to get the Muslim vote away from BRS. They got that by spreading this canard and story that the BRS and the BJP were going to get together and that they used to scare off the Muslim voters away from BRS to the Congress. So I think this is all, unfortunately and sadly, a game that is only being orchestrated to try and scare the Muslim voters of Tiruvandavaram and Kerala into supporting the Congress, making them believe that uh, a vote for the BJP is a vote against them, a vote for the CPM is a vote against them, and only the Congress can support the Muslims. This is what their political strategy is. We all know, and including I believe very strongly, our Muslim brothers and sisters of Tiruvandavaram and uh, Kerala, that the Congress is a party, and in a lot of ways, Shashi Tharoor is a representative of that party, even though he has tried hard to leave that party, that can never deliver anything for anybody. They have not done it for the last 15 years in Tiruvandavaram. They have not done it for 65 years in India. So all this is simply to move the narrative away from scrutiny of their performance, their 15 years of MP ship in Tiruvandavaram. They want everything else to be discussed but that. Sir, so do you think that your candidature in the constituency, your progress has created a headache for that is indirectly asking... Look, it is support. clear that it is clear to me, and I am not a person who speaks lightly, it is clear to me that every man and woman in Tiruvandapuram today ha knows fully well that the last 15 years were wasted years for Tiruvandapuram and its people. Nothing was done and the gentleman was a minister when he was for five years an MP and even then nothing got done in Tiruvandapuram. So therefore today they will do everything possible to take away the focus from what their performance has been. Please remember, in the last Lok Sabha election in 2019, a large number of Congress MPs were elected from Kerala. People are asking them today, what did you do for the constituency? Now, they don't want to answer that because they haven't done anything for the constituency. So they will now bring up Vargyavadi, they will bring up secularism, they will bring up all of these things to distract people of Kerala and Tiruvandamuram away from the main question. What was your performance? What have you done to deliver some development and growth and change in the lives of the citizens that you swore to serve? And the answer we all know is a big bujam, big zero. Yeah, look, this is the this is a very funny progress report because by that token, he should also take uh, credit for the Chandrayaan. Because the Chandrayaan was also launched from Tiruvandaram. So he should take credit for Chandrayaan, he should take credit for all the PSLV launches, he should take credit for NHAI roads, he should take credit for every central government scheme that is in Tiruvandaram. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi should not take the credit. Funny logic, but it's his logic, but it is Congress logic.